recalls in Wisconsin. The Democrats are trying to recall Governor Scott Walker and Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Clayfish. But tomorrow, they also plan to turn in signatures that would put four state senators back on the ballot in recall races, all the way from Racine to Chippewa Falls. The next session of the legislature starts tomorrow, but will any work actually get done? Fox 6's Mike Lowe joins us with a political lowdown. Good evening, Ann. Lawmakers say it will be difficult to accomplish much of anything in a hyper-partisan campaign environment, but after last session in which Republicans passed several major items like voter ID, open carry, and redistricting, they're going in this time with a short list of goals. Fresh off of nine contentious recall elections last summer, the state Senate is bracing for another round. They only have a one-vote majority, and I think what's happening now is these four senators are going to have to be in their district explaining uh, why they passed the things that they did. When signatures are turned in on Tuesday, observers expect four more Republican senators under recall. The majority leader, Scott Fitzgerald of Juneau, Van Wangard of Racine, Pam Galloway of Wausau, and Terry Moulton of Chippewa Falls. The GOP holds a one-vote majority, so each seat is critical to the Republican agenda, meaning the campaigns could become the total focus of the session. Well, I think it's more of an issue for lawmakers. We saw that during the summer. It was a huge distraction for those lawmakers. Governor Scott Walker is warning that the state Senate may be paralyzed by the process. As it is, Republican leaders are going into the session with just three priorities, allowing for an iron ore mine in the northern part of the state, easing environmental regulations for development on wetlands and creating a venture capital fund to help new businesses get started. If they're going to say, oh, we can't move on our agenda anymore, I don't think that's a, an argument that people are going to be, uh, be too upset with. Democratic Senator Chris Larson of Milwaukee says the recalls are the result of votes taken last session. If they're going to say, oh, they can't move forward with the agenda, the problem is the recall is happening because of the agenda that they have. Senator Fitzgerald and others, as long as they're able to get the facts out, uh, the facts will, uh, I think, in the end will allow them just as they'll allow me to earn the trust of the majority of people in their districts. And the governor will detail his agenda during the State of the State speech next Wednesday night. He says even if he has to run a recall campaign, he'll stay focused on his job as governor and fulfilling his original campaign promise to help create 250,000 jobs in his first term. Back to you. Okay, Mike, thank you so much. More to come tomorrow, obviously. A recall election in Sheboygan set for tomorrow.